these are the most advanced uh, walking robots in the world. Their, their, their uh, cheetah one can run faster than Usain Bolt, so it's a really high-speed robot. Yeah. So, so there, it's quite a surprise that Google have just acquired them as well as the other companies they acquired. Well, let me ask you that. This is the eighth robotic company yeah. in, a, what, I, I believe in, in six-month period. So, yes. I mean, the question is, people are going to be asking, what is Google up to? It's very difficult to know. They're, not, they're keeping their cards close to their chest. Um, they've got uh, Andy Rubens as the director of this lab, and he's from Android, the head of Android. So they mean business here. But Google are already really advanced with their autonomous car, which is legal now in Nevada and California, although nobody else can afford the insurance except Google. <laughs> but these big companies, people are guessing what's going to happen. Some people are saying, well, they're going to be for domestic use. There's a lot of buzz around the robotics community about it. And other people are saying, well, you know, they can imagine the autonomous car showing up at your door and a, a, one of these humanoid robots getting out and delivering parcels. So that's the optimistic view. But for the moment, you have to remember that the big surprise for me, not the other companies, but the big surprise for me was Boston Dynamics because it's a military contractor and they have a lot of military contracts, including that big Atlas humanoid robot. And what Google have said is they will continue until the contracts have ended, but they're not intending to become military contractors. Mm. But uh, there's many, many, many millions of dollars to be made here, yeah. and, and we're worried that they might continue along this path. Well, let, let's talk about millions of dollars. And correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of the robotic development around the world is done by sort of smaller tech firms. Um, once you've got a might like Google behind it, which has got a mighty big checkbook, could that push the field of robotics, do you think, um, you know, into the next... It's the next era? I really think it can, yes. But you have to remember that all these things you're saying are all uh, com computer-controlled walking robots. Now, the hard bit has been getting them to walk and articulate that movement. Honda's Asimo robot that everybody knows was probably the first about 10 years ago that could walk and balance properly. So it's a balancing problem. And you can see Google's new Atlas robot can now walk over stones, although in the last test it broke its ankle, unfortunately, but it can walk <laughs> over stones. So I'm expecting to see really big push in mobility. Now, in terms of intelligence, that's a whole other matter. Google have not been into that business much, except for their autonomous car. So people shouldn't be expecting big, th you know, super intelligent thinking machines. What you're getting is computerized robots, and it'll be some time before they can do much other than deliver parcels.